Hello, everybody. Don is checking out all his sausage stuff. Yep, never made sausage before, first time. Yeah, those are the casings. This is all the spices. Yeah, uh, this is the cure, and then this stuff here is the spices. Okay. And then a total of 10 casings, and the 10 casings got to soak for, I think it said one to two hours. Okay. In warm water. All right. So. And then all his meat is over here. This is venison. He did not, yeah, 30 pounds of venison. No, he didn't leave this out all night long. He put it in the refrigerator, and now it's back out working on thawing again. And he has a really good electric meat grinder slash sausage maker to do all this with. Yeah, I'll get it out for those that haven't seen it yet. Yeah. For the new subscribers anyway. Yeah, restaurant quality. Yeah, which uh, just a co-owner, which uh, me and my brother Dave went in and bought a really nice one. Yeah, half and half. So it's half yours and half your brother's. Yeah, um, we got it on sale and can't complain. Full price was $250 for that thing. Yeah, but you didn't pay that much. It was no, on sale. No, it was on sale after taxes and everything. I think it was like 190 something after taxes, which ain't bad. No. But. but yeah, sausage, that'll be really good. Yeah. And say hello to the kitties. Spotted Leaf. And her brother Gizzard. Kylo. And Tog, that's not a kitty. And Smokey. And then his brother White Storm. And Gray Stripe. House full of kitties. So this is my lunch. It's a steak and cheese protein bowl from Subway. And there's, believe it or not, only 370 calories in it. And it's all vegetables underneath, and this is really, really good. I had one yesterday when I was with my mom, and I liked it so much. I ordered one today, and I ordered from the Subway app. For the first time ever, ordering food online. But we have no delivery of any t kind around here so Don had to go pick it up for me but these are really good and there are other kinds too but this was so good yesterday I just wanted this one again I'm making a stir fry for dinner this is the chicken breast with a little bit of this less sodium soy sauce I always use this use this kind because I can't stand the full salt stuff I get a pounding headache after one bite and I do still have to be careful with this stuff. There's so much salt. There's just a tiny bit of water in here too so it doesn't stick. And pepper and minced onions but Don's looking for garlic powder but I guess we're out. Yeah we're out. There ain't none up here. Okay and then I will be putting this in there and it will be going over white rice. And Don is soaking his sausage skins and he's still waiting for the meat, the venison meat to thaw. Some of it's thawed and some of it's not. Okay. And he's, he has the grinder waiting here. He could have had the sausage made by now if everything wasn't frozen. Yeah, and then I forgot to put that in. Otherwise, that would have been already stuffed in the casings. And I forgot to soak the casings, so. Yeah. And then he has to cook the sausage in the oven. It, are there directions for cooking it in the oven? Oh, uh, yeah. Like temperature and all that? Yeah. All right, because we do have a smoker. It's like a combination smoker and grill, but he said it would be too hard to use that. Or Yeah, because I can't, with the way it's set up and everything, I can't control the heat very well with it. Oh. And I don't want it to be too hot or too low because you've got to have it in between a certain temperature and I can't control that heat. Okay. So... Maybe we can get a better, better one someday because smoked sausage is really good. Yeah. And there's still kitties lounging around. Kitties, kitties, kitties. And then it's paused, but Don is watching his, still re-watching The Walking Dead. And I have been watching YouTube on the other TV, catching up on it because I didn't watch my YouTube subscriptions at all yesterday. So I have to hurry up and catch up now before it goes way out of hand. And I did wake up to a text and an email today saying that the MacBook Air finally got shipped. And it'll be here tomorrow. 
They're sending it by FedEx Express Overnight Priority Mail. It's, or not mail, but shipping. So it's about time. So tomorrow I'll, I will be working on, on setting up that all up. Okay, it's all set. And this is a little plate, not a great big huge plate. So we both have the same thing. Perfect serving size. Okay, dinner's all eaten and I know this looks gross, but Don says he has to put the meat all over the table, which he cleaned the table very well first, and put the spices all through it and the cure powder stuff, and then run it through the grinder, and then he can uh, put it in the sausage skins, right? Yeah. Yeah, it says they run it through the grinder because it's put the, uh, well, it doesn't say, you know, exactly why, but it's to help mix the meat together, or the seasoning in with the meat. Yeah, so, we're just hoping that nobody jumps up and helps themselves. Right, kitties? Ugh, but yeah, it's a great big mess. Yep, just lapped up some of this blood here. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys are squeamish, this is not going to be something you guys are going to like. Blech! Blech! <laughs> no, 30 pounds of venison here. So. That's all the meat? Yep, blech. all 30 pounds. Blah, blah, blah. Squish, squish. <laughs> But like I said, the table, he cleaned the table very, very, very well first. Yeah. So, I mean, you have to. White Storm, don't you even try it. Like, but it looks so good. Yeah. <laughs> All the cats would eat this right up and Tug would help too. No. A lot of work to clean up 30 pounds of venison. Yeah. Sea beans. Yep, getting his, the seasonings and the, that cure powder or whatever that's um, called. This is the, the cure, these packages, and then these are the uh, flavorings. Yeah, and it says that after you put the sausage in the casings, you have to put it in the refrigerator and let it cure for 12 to 24 hours before you cook the sausage. Yeah, it says 12 hours and no more than 24. Okay. I figured there ain't no sense in trying to uh, make just a little bit because then you gotta sit there and measure out all, everything all exact and everything is a pain in the butt. Well, we have we know the sausage will get eaten. Some goes to my mom as a thank you for getting him this sausage making kit. And I know we'll eat it and it, we can freeze some of it too after it's all cooked and done. Yeah, it says in the instructions that you can free, uh, freeze the leftovers. Yeah. You know, what gonna have to for as much as we're making so yeah because I'm only gonna eat the serve what like one serving size every mm. day or two I'm not what, just gonna pig ounce. out on sausage that's what one ounce I, I thought it was four ounces or four ounces yeah well, I'm not sure four ounces on the meat and then don't throw that box away because it's got the the nutrition info for the cure stuff in the powder I mean the spices so I would add the the serving size of the venison to the serving size of this stuff you're pouring all over it. And then I'd have my final nutrition info number for four, a four ounce piece of sausage. So for those of you who don't, who did not see yesterday's video, this is a summer sausage kit. So this is going to be venison summer sausage. Yeah. Normally it's what, uh, like 21, 22 bucks. 21.99. So 22 bucks for enough seasonings to do 30 pounds. Yeah, but we looked at the receipt and we found out it was on sale for 18 something. The yeah, kit. which you can't complain when you get it on sale. No, and it came from Dunham's. They have a whole aisle of sausage making stuff and jerky making stuff. And Man, that pepper is pretty strong on the nostrils. Yeah. Not make 
be the hole. This is the uh, mixing by hand first, and then the grinder to help help really mix it more. Get it mixed in better. Yeah. And it says that you can use either your fine cutting blade or your coarse cutting blade to help mix it in. And which one are you going to use? I'm going to use the coarse. Okay. So that way it runs through the grinder a little quicker, but even if you use the fine in this grinder, it just shove it right through, so. Yeah. This is all garbage. Not for you, White Storm. Oops. The rest of the cats and Tug have not seemed to notice yet, which is good. Except maybe Smokey, because he's inching closer and closer. Uh-oh, and here comes Tug. <laughs> his name is what it was. Yeah, you guys can't, <laughs> he's really staring at it. You guys can't have any of this. <laughs> no, don't even try it. You go lay down. Go on. Time to play and play with your food. Time to play with my salami. It's not salami. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't like salami. So I'm glad you're not making salami because that's gross. No, well, if we would have had the fixings or the seasoning for it, I would have. Duh, I don't like salami. And it's really greasy, salami. Yeah. That's why I don't like it. But this here is uh, absolutely lean. Yeah, There's... venison meat is very, very lean. Oh, yeah. So this is uh, so a really that. healthy way to make sausage. Yeah, it's so lean that if... Uh, you make hamburger patties out of your hamburger that if you don't let it cook enough your hamburger patty will just fall right apart yeah which is all right with me because i don't want you adding pork sausage or whatever to them because yeah. then they're fattening yeah and it said on the instructions that you're supposed supposed to mix either a six pound of beef or a six pound of pork to it but i'm not doing that so yeah it'll be fine it shouldn't fall apart. The sauce, that's what the sausage skins are for. Yeah, that's what the original casing is for to help hold it all yeah, together. Yeah, the, the, the casings. I keep calling them sausage skins, but they're casings. Yeah, which you peel, which when you go to eat it, you peel the casing off. You know, you don't eat the casing. No. I've had lots of sausage like that growing up where you have to cut a, cut a slit down the side of the casing and peel it off first and then you eat the sausage. Yeah. One of my friends wants a little bit, and I'll, I'll give them a little bit, I ain't going to give them a whole lot, but... Yeah. So anyway, I will resume this when he is on the next step, because this is going to take a while. Uh, I'm already about a little better than halfway, but... But that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. So he forgot that he needs to put three cups of water in here, and this is two cups. So I'm doing it for him because his hands are so dirty. And this is three. All right, go ahead and pour it in, and I'll just gradually work it in. Okay. Now the table's really going to be a mess. <laughs> well, you got to have the moisture in there because of the cure. Yeah. Is that that cure is just going to just dry it right out? Oh, all right then. Okay. Now he has to run it through the grinder one time to finish finish mixing it up even better. Yep. He has all that done now, and now he's weighing out piles for each sausage. Oh, junk for the animals. Yep, you guys get some now. Don't drop any more. <laughs> and now it's time for him to actually put the sausage guts in the sausage skin. <laughs> Yeah, but it looks like I'm going to have to pull a tube off every time and empty out the tube into the rest of this casing, though. 
Yeah. It looks like I'm going to have to do that with every single uh, tube that we do. Oh, okay. So, put on stuff and color good. That's definitely a big sausage. <laughs> you behave yourselves, cats. So there, one sausage. And then he there's a string to tie it up. But I'm going to let him... Finish all the rest of his sausages, and then I'll sh we'll show you the end product. He is finally done. Eight, uh, ten great big sausages. <laughs> great big sausages. <laughs> now they have to go in the refrigerator and cure all night, and then tomorrow they can be cooked. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Line of sausage. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's the venison summer sausage, part one, because they have to get cooked tomorrow. And then we'll see how they come out, how they taste. Yep. A lot of hard work, wasn't it? Uh, how many hours have you got into this? All day? It's almost 11 o'clock at night. all day, but that started mm -hmm. kind of late, but... Yeah. That started after we had dinner. What time did we have dinner? I don't know. I wasn't looking at the clock. Because this, I, the meat's been thawing ever since yesterday. Yeah. So, but yeah, gotta get in the fridge now. Yep. I had to pull half of it just so that we could get, get it on camera. So. Yeah. So anyway, lots of sausage. And this video was really, really long. I didn't know it was going to be such a long video today but that's all right hopefully you guys lasted till until the end i know some of you didn't i didn't mean if whoever didn't they can't hear me now but we're going to go ahead and say good night and we hope you enjoyed the video and that you like subscribe comment share and you're having a good night say good night say your good mornings and we'll see you tomorrow for sausage cooking day